Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, we worship you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Sorry for coming late by this time. Hallelujah. I have been very busy during the day. Hallelujah. I have been very, very busy during the day. Hallelujah. That is why I couldn't even communicate with anyone. Hallelujah. I just have to come online right now because... I just have to come online now because I tried everything possible for me to push this prayer not to come online this night to pray and God kept on pushing me you got to wake up and pray because there is someone I want to use your voice to deliver tonight I don't know whom that person is hallelujah I can say forgive me for coming late, coming out late I've been very busy during the way, during the day, very, very busy during the day. Good morning so much. Good morning. For all of you that are still waiting, I heard God very clearly. He said to me, there is still someone who is waiting. He said, there is still somebody who is waiting for me. There is still somebody who have not slept yet. There is somebody who is still expecting seriously for me to come online to pray. I don't know who that person is, but I just believe that the person is already online or you are about to come online. Hallelujah. You are you are already watching this video or you are about to watch the video. You are the reason why God woke me up. I tried to rest. I said, God, I am very tired. I need to rest. And he just said to me, you need to get up and read my word. Hallelujah. So that the devil will take his hands off someone. I don't know whom the devil is planning tonight. I don't know who the enemy is planning evil. They are planning a creep tonight. But whatever they are planning, God will disappoint them in the name of Jesus. Whatever they are planning against you, against your family, God will disappoint them in the name of Jesus. Whatever they have done, God will disappoint them in the name of Jesus. And the Bible says he disappointed the devices of the crafty that their hand may not uh, carry on their enterprise. Hallelujah. And I pray for somebody today that every plan of the devil over your life, it shall be disappointed in the name of Jesus. They will not carry out that evil plan. They will not carry out that evil agenda against you. They will not carry out that evil duty against you. They will not carry out that evil, evil discussion against you. Whatever the plan that is evil against you tonight, heaven will scatter it in the name of Jesus. So I'm going to be very snappy 15 minutes or 30 minutes of prayer and we just close this meeting all you need to do is to apply your faith wherever you are distance is not a barrier you are the reason why god insists i should wake up and say something i don't know who that person is but you are the reason why god said i should wake up this morning first of all let us thank god everlasting father we thank you for life we thank you for protection we thank you for grace. We thank you for mercy. We thank you for love you have shown to us. We thank you for your kindness. We thank you for protection. We thank you for all you have done. May your name alone be praised in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for preserving our lives. We thank you for preserving our families. We thank you for protecting us. We thank you for favor you have granted unto us. We thank you for breakthrough. We thank you for open heaven. We thank you for open doors. You are bigger than the biggest. You are higher than the highest. You are the all-sufficient God. You are the creator of the whole universe. All power belongs to you. Thank you for the life of my brothers. Thank you for the life of my sisters. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your grace. There is no other God like you. 
from kingdom to kingdom you are god from generation to generation you are god you are god you are not a man hallowed be thy name lord i worship you lord i glorify your name thank you lord jesus for the blood you shed on the cross of calvary for such a moment thank you for the deliverance you have given us so far thank you for the healing you have given us so far thank you for that person you want to use this wonderful moment to console to protect to deliver to renew his or her mind lord thank you thank you thank you thank you for finding it worthy to use me as a vessel of honor I yield myself, Lord Jesus. Use me within this few minutes to glorify your name. Do what only you can do and take all the glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. If you have your Bible, just very simple place we used to read all this time. You're going to help me and open the book of Isaiah 54. Kalaradado Shaladaba. Thank you, Jesus. Are you there? Isaiah 54 is a popular place we used to quote, and God wants us to read it straight. I don't know why I open his eyes. You go straight to Isaiah and let us read it and know that we can use it to pray. Hallelujah. Are you there with me? Hallelujah. I I could have said we read this, we read this from the very beginning. Let us read Isaiah 54. Let us start from verse 1. Let me just read from verse 1. Hallelujah. Where God want me to read is where he showed me is verse 15 and verse 17 but let us just read from verse 1 i don't know whom this person is but there is a message for you in isaiah 54 verse 1 he says sing O barren and thou did not bear hallelujah break forth into singing and cry aloud that thou did not travel with a child for more are the children of the desolate than the throne of the married wife, said the Lord. Hallelujah. Verse 2, he said, Enlarge thy place of thy tent, and let them stretch forth the curtains of thy habitation. Spare not, lengthen, and cords, and stand the, thy stakes, for thou shalt break forth on the right hand, on the left hand, and the seed shall inherit the Gentile, and make the desolate city to be inhabitant. Hallelujah. He said, Oh, you barren. He said, Boston singing. How can I be a barren, a barren, and you say you should start singing? Hallelujah. How can I be barren, and you are telling me to start singing? Hallelujah. To start glorifying God, to start laughing. Hallelujah. But that is what God is saying here right now. He said, Oh, you barren, boss in singing. Hallelujah. Brother, it's as if things are not working. After this prayer, I say, boss in singing. Sister, it's as if that you are not married, you have waited, you are too beautiful, and that you is not working. Then God said, boss in singing. Brother, it's as if that you have never, you don't even have a house where you live. Right there where you are on the street, boss in singing hallelujah i don't know what is troubling you i don't know where you are i don't know the situation and the circumstances but all god is saying here is burst in singing hallelujah all god is saying here is you should burst in singing get ready to dance hallelujah get ready to dance you have looked for a job you have tried every possibility it takes for you to get a job and yet it's like you are not gotten the job god is saying after now burst into singing hallelujah burst into singing wherever you are hallelujah forgive me this is nigeria calabrado shatayaba a porodo shaladaba. All God is saying, you should burst into singing. Hallelujah. 
you should burst into singing into glorifying the name of god hallelujah so these are the things you should do no matter how it is troubling you no matter what is troubling your system you should burst into singing because something is about to break forth hallelujah i see that you call barrenness broken tonight because we have opened the scripture god has opened your womb the fallopian tomb is open barrenness is cancelled in the name of jesus as many of you that watch this video the barrenness is cancelled in the name of jesus barrenness is cancelled hallelujah boss into singing hallelujah uh, if you don't have money boss into singing hallelujah you don't have a lover you are not married boss into singing so after this prayer tonight all you need to do help me and give god 30 minutes one hour praise and worship you thank god every corner of the world where you are because something is about to happen <laughs> Because the more you thank God, the more you put your enemy into trouble. <laughs> The more you praise God, the more you put them into confusion. The more you praise God, the more you put them into trouble. The more you are worshiping God, the more you keep them thinking. Because by now, they just want you to be crying. By now, they want you to be crying. But God has turned your mourning into laughter. Hallelujah. God bless you, great man of God, Isaac Apia. Hallelujah. God bless you so much. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you so much. Barrenness of any kind is cancelled in the name of Jesus Christ. Barrenness of any type is cancelled. I don't care to know what causes the barrenness. I only care to know what opens the womb. I don't care to know what causes you not to get a job all this while. I only know who will cause you to get a job. I don't care to know what causes you not to have your document. I only know who will make you to have your document. I don't don't care to know what makes you not to have your visa i only know who will help you to get the visa i don't know what makes you not to have your husband i only know who to make you to have your husband i don't know what makes you not to marry a good wife by now i only know who gives good wives i don't know what makes you not to progress in life but i only know who will make you to progress and his name is jesus christ and he said by the main Shown of his name, every meal shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of the Father in heaven. And as I mentioned him in your case, you go barrenness of any kind has broken financial barrenness is broken every barrenness of your life is broken barrenness of not having a baby is broken unfruitfulness is broken in the name of jesus rising and falling is broken powers that have been holding your family bound in what place is broken whatever that makes people to look at you you look like somebody who has been favored but only you know there is no money in your account right now that yoke is broken in the name of jesus yoke of hand to mouth no service no plan no future that yoke is broken in the name of jesus wherever they tie your destiny today i lose it in the name of jesus however they tie your destiny today i I lose it in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever they tie your womb, financial womb, wherever they tie your getting job, your marital womb, I lose it in the name of Jesus Christ. I lose it in the name of Jesus Christ. I lose it in the name of Jesus Christ. Ah, you know what you're going to do? A lot of you right now, you should make a provision, a bigger provision. You are still a single girl here. Help me and choose a date when you want to marry. 
choose a month where you want to marry. You are a woman who need a baby. You got to choose a month where you want to be pregnant. Choose the month when you want to have your baby. When my wife was pregnant, she was telling me when she got pregnant. I said, no, that's not when you got pregnant. There is a time you got pregnant. I don't want to have my baby in 2016. She was calculating she would deliver 2016. I said, no, I don't want my baby. Hallelujah. I don't want my baby to come in 2016. Uh, no, 2017. We got my, my baby. I don't want to have a baby in 2017. Because if you have your baby right now, it will, it will obstruct my movement. When you have your baby now, I have my baby plants already it might change the plants i have already you will have your baby exactly 2018 january and she asked me why i said because i've discussed with god that is when you have a baby and i will replant myself but if you have it now so many visas on my passport will be cancelled my movement will be cancelled hallelujah and surprisingly when we come to lab lab now says she will deliver on january hallelujah and that was when I was making enlargement. That was where I was preparing myself. That was where I was preparing my house. That was when I was preparing my pocket. That was when I enlarged my coast. That was when I enlarged my territory because I am expecting a bigger miracle. I am expecting a princess coming in my family. I've enlarged my territory and right now God is still telling me right now, somebody go and enlarge your territory. You might wake up right now at midnight if you don't have a car. You want a car. You get to where you can park a car. You say, this is where I will park my car. You can get up right now and go to calendar and choose a date. I say, wow, this is a date I will be pregnant. And this is a date. Count from that very day till nine months. This is a day I will deliver my baby. You can go to calendar and choose a date. He said, wow, this is a date where I will get married. I used to tell myself many years ago, as after I said, I'm going to marry 2016, 2017. Hallelujah. I said, ain't not going to pass me by. I didn't prepare. There was no money anywhere, but that was the date I choose. I don't have any girlfriend, no fiancé, no money, nothing, nothing, but I've chosen that date. I first of all enlarge my goals. I first of all prepare my mind. I first of all prepared my heart. I first of all prepared my house. Hallelujah. How many of you have prepared your house for a bigger miracle? Because as for me, I have pictured the miracle. If you don't picture it you can future in your future you need to picture your miracle help me and picture the month you want it help me and picture how you want to sit in your office after now help me and picture how you want to get a bigger job help me and picture how you want to get a bigger contract help me and picture where you want your children to be tomorrow help me and picture the future can you begin to picture where you want your husband or your wife to be with you if you can picture it this way heaven will do it for you right now the bible says here he said in verse 2 enlarge the place of thy tent enlarge the place of your tent enlarge your heart hello make a bigger plan you don't settle for less you don't just realize there for that little plan you have enlarge your heart enlarge your heart make a bigger plan hallelujah something marvelous is about to happen something something glorious is about to happen it's about to rain a heavy downpour a heavy rain that will trouble your generation a heavy rain that will ask some people to ask you where did you get it how did and i pray for somebody under the sound of my voice let there be a release unto you let there be a release let there be a release in the name of jesus wherever your blessing is being locked up i open that door wherever your miracle is locked up I open that door wherever your womb is locked I open that door wherever your money is locked I open that door wherever the lock
locked what belongs to you i open that door wherever they locked your glory i open that door wherever they locked your contacts i open that door wherever they locked your marriage i open that door wherever they locked your celebration i open that door wherever they locked you i open that door i could let to run your geber do jacatu a gideba in dali kebe to you i keberu no tigradia gada ande kuku bakro no lia delika parudo shata i keku gubala do a dile telete kukuba erono nuzia le credere to kujada in the name of jesus christ i release your destiny helpers from the east i release your destiny helpers from the west i release your destiny helpers from the north i release your destiny helpers from the south i release your destiny helpers who are men i release your destiny helpers who are women i release your destiny helpers that are in government i release your destiny helpers in government i release your destiny helpers wherever they are you go nigedu kruni gabardo shigede kuta and gomboro nukutele kigabano kudia andele kukuba aveku balege dugu malia nia dege du kruno shata e helia veku kubagada i hear the sound of abundance of rain upon somebody i hear the sound of abundance of rain upon somebody it's a night of possibility alike deba e kula i serve the god of possibility the god that make it impossibility possible that god is coming upon you right now he is bringing a transformation in your life he's bringing a change in your life that god is coming to give you victory the bible say we overcame i am more than a conqueror i am an overcomer i get to gronigada jesus christ did not share his blood in vain jesus christ did not share his blood in vain he shared his blood that i might not share my blood again on the road jesus christ died prematurely that i I will not die that nothing will die prematurely in my hand my finance will not die prematurely again my family cannot die prematurely my marriage cannot die prematurely my baby cannot die prematurely my wife cannot die prematurely my ministry cannot die prematurely that is the way the reason jesus tried to die for me his death is not in vain he died to pay my price Jesus died to pay your price and that is why you are not born again to die again you are not born again to suffer again you are not born again to be oppressed by the devil again you are not born again to be on the ground again you are not born again to be poor again you are not born again to be sick again you are not born again to be tormented by the devil again you are not born again to be bound again you are not born again to be left alone you are not born again to cry again you are not born again to die and i pray for that sister receive a total deliverance in the name of jesus i pray for that brother receive your total deliverance in the name of jesus receive your total healing in the name of jesus receive your total breakthrough in the name of jesus receive your total healing in the name of jesus receive your total restoration in the name of jesus receive your total deliverance in the name of jesus receive it receive it in the name of jesus 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 christ kalua hu le gorono shidrelia katua ate krono shigeluro no ni alada baradusha kale redusha tayaba there is somebody who is watching this video holy spirit help me ali kedua i've never done this before people who follow me there is somebody who is watching this video right now as you are watching the video you are just feeling like dropping a seed you are just feeling like sowing a seed right now you are watching this video i don't know who you are but that's what i heard that is somebody you are you are as you are hearing this word you feel like sowing a seed right now because you feel that this prayer is for you you feel that a word has dropped in your life hallelujah 
you you feel that something has dropped in your life you are the one who have this prayer hello if you are the one just indicate let me pray with you 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 felt like dropping a seed right now but just because we are verified you can't drop that seed right now something is telling you how i wish this man is closer to me i'm going to drop a seed i wish this man is preaching in the church i'm going to drop a seed there is somebody you are watching the video and uh, immediately as i'm praying right now that is just exactly what that came into your mind you 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 wanted to drop uh, god this man is very far from me i can't drop a seed there is someone there you are watching this video you are the one i'm talking about you are watching this video can you just indicate if you are the one you just write up man of god i am the one let me pray with you uh, something i felt that dew falling upon me right now i felt the hand of god upon my head i am feeling the touch of god upon my head and the grace of god is upon me to speak to somebody enlarge your course don't walk with what you have now walk with what you're about to get hallelujah walk with what you're about to get you that you walk with what you're about to get he said like the place of thy tent and let them straight for the curtains of thy inhabitation spare not he says spare not don't say let me let me save this one as i'm enlarging let me save this one hallelujah he says spare not lengthen thy cords and strengthen thy stake for thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the ayagadaba. Somebody is about to break forth. Holy Ghost, this is what I am expecting. A kalia, a ka, he says, for thou shalt break forth. Verse 3, verse 3, follow the scripture. He said, for you shall break forth in the right hand and you shall break forth in the ayagadaba. Hey, you will break forth in the right hand. You will break forth in the left side. So wherever you go, favor. Wherever you go, open doors. You are someone that where you go, people don't love you. I don't know. They put a mask on your face. Hallelujah. But as I cover my face with this, and I call every mask they cover your face, as I wipe my face with this, I wipe it out of your face in the name of Jesus. Every mask that devil have used to cover you, I wipe it off right now in the name of Jesus. Every mask that devil have used to cover your face, I wipe it off now in the name of Jesus Christ. I wipe off that mask. I wipe it off. I wipe it off in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I, I wipe it off. I wipe off that mask. Whatever they used to cover your face that your helper will not help you whatever they used to cover your face that your benefactor will not give you what god has given to you hallelujah i wipe it off in the name of jesus he said Say, and thy seed shall inherit the Gentiles and make the desolate city to be inhabited. Hallelujah. You shall inherit the Gentiles. Wherever you go, you take over. You take over the territory. You take over. Look at, let's just read down to, uh, let me go down. I'm going to jump from that place. Hallelujah. Look at what the Bible says, verse 4. Verse 4. He says, Fear not, for thou shalt not be ashamed. Hallelujah. I don't know what that makes you. You think that you'll be ashamed. He says, Fear not, for thou shalt not be ashamed. You cannot be ashamed. Hello. Can I hear somebody shout it? I can't be ashamed. Hallelujah. Every spirit of shame be destroyed out of you in the name of Jesus. I will tear every garment of shame. Whatever that is causing you to be ashamed, I tear it off in the name of Jesus. Jesus. He said, Be thou confounded, for thou shalt not be put to shame. For thou shalt forget the shame of thy youth, and shalt not remember the reproach of the widow and uh, anymore. Hallelujah. Is you, you you will not for remember your shame again every shame in your life god has removed it in the name of jesus whatever you are passing through that whenever you remember it hallelujah you remember it is as if you are shame i wipe it off in the name of jesus uh, you re just remember something and is as if I, I wipe away shame i wipe away somebody say I wipe away shame hallelujah i wipe away shame i, I wipe away shame shame i wipe away shame i wipe away shame can you pray that prayer every shame and disgrace the devil has planned for me i wipe it off 
whatever the devil has planned to use to cause me shame to be ashamed i wipe it off every plan they have planned for me to cause me shame lord i wipe it off whatever they have put in me to cause me to be ashamed lord i wipe it off i wipe it off in the name of jesus every shame that devil is causing in my life i wipe it off whatever they are causing me shame for i wipe it off in the name of jesus i wipe away shame i wipe away shame i wipe away shame and disgrace i wipe away shame open your mouth and begin to pray i wipe away i shall not be ashamed hallelujah he said fear not all you need to do in tonight after tonight don't fear it again don't allow a fear to come to you hallelujah he said that your shame shall be wiped off verse 15 look at what happened he said he said 15 behold that shall surely gather behold they shall surely gather together and behold they shall surely gather together but not by me whosoever that shall gather together against thee shall fall for your sake hallelujah whosoever that gathered for you shall fall for your sake hallelujah any man that gathered they will fall because of you why because you are the seed of god why because you carry the mark of god you can imagine my baby right now have the day i gave birth to her the day in the hospital i took her and said god i dedicate this baby to you lord i give this baby to you you are the owner of this baby you are the father of this baby spiritual father biological father everything lord this baby belongs to you this baby is the baby of the altar so sometimes i don't even remember she's around to pray for her hallelujah because i've given her to god so if anything happens god allows it to happen to her hallelujah god is now the caretaker god is now the father god is the backbone of chimamanda god is everything to my baby god hallelujah i've dedicated her to god the same way my wife father dedicated her to god while she was tender like my baby during the thanksgiving the father gave her to god hallelujah and the same way they also my mother also dedicated we never you we have similar issues similar destiny hallelujah why her father they gave birth to her. her father took her to church during the thanksgiving day there was nothing to offer to god her father carried her and said god i give this baby to you i said thanksgiving offering and dropped the baby and left me before i was born my mother went and started crying and said god send me somebody that will take care of my family send me somebody a leader who can lead my family who can take care of my family and he said that we have the same destiny hallelujah it was when we met after a series of prayer that i started telling her there is something about you somebody make a vow on your behalf and on an altar you go and she didn't know about it all the days of her life until i got to her after we are praying say god is showing me that you may somebody made a vow about you on the altar you need to go and discover that altar because that is where your destiny will start if it's a bad altar we cancel it if it's a good altar you go and do exactly what they say until she went to her mother her uncle everybody came out and shouted wow we have forgotten this years ago who is this man that came to marry you who revealed this secret hallelujah it was when we discovered they say wow you are meant to be on the altar hallelujah you are not just a servant of god because you're married to a servant of god you marry you are a servant of god by birth hallelujah it has already done from the childhood so you got to when you dedicate what belongs to you to god hallelujah he said no matter where they gather they will fall for your sake they have been catching people they have been catching other people but any day they remember you that's their downfall any day the devil remember you is the beginning of their downfall hallelujah anytime the evil men like me any evil man or woman that remember my father family for evil is the beginning of their downfall is the beginning of their death is the beginning of their scattering anytime they open their eyes and remember us that means they have planned to fail anytime they remember my family they have planned to fail anytime they remember anything consign me they have planned to fail why i am i've been dedicated to god i am god's property hallelujah i am useful in 
the kingdom of God. Uh, can you see I am in Nigeria this midnight? A lot of pastors are sleeping or a lot of pastors are praying for themselves. But every midnight I wake up with my data praying with somebody, people I don't even know. Hallelujah. Interceding for people I don't even know. So how do you think that the devil will come and take me out from the hand of God? I am a pencil in the hand of God. Hallelujah. God is just the one using me to write, rewrite people's destiny. God is the one using me to rewrite people's destiny, rewrite people's future, rewrite people. So I don't know what the devil has written about you, but God is using me to rewrite it now. It says that surely they will gather, but because it's not by me, I am. I God is not the one that sent them, so they will fall for your sake because you are a destiny child. There is a mark you are carrying. That is why they will fall because there is something special about you uh, can somebody shout i am at the apple of god's eyes and uh, you got to understand that you are the apple of god's eyes that the devil does not need to come to you because your case is different you are carrying the mark of the lord jesus the other day the bible said in the book of galatians chapter 6 verse 17 he said that from henceforth let no man trouble me for i bear in me the mark of the lord jesus Jesus, they can't touch you anyhow. If they touch you anyhow, they die anyhow. If they touch you by mistake, they die by correction. There is something special about you because you are watching this video, because you have known your real identity. When the devil comes your, your way, you open your mouth and tell the devil, I am no go area. Devil, I am not your candidate. You Satan, I am not your candidate. You can't get me. I am not your candidate. I am not eatable. The, the other day the Bible says, hallelujah. The Bible said the other day that they were den of lion. We are people that disobey the decree of the king. We have been cast out. But when they cast a man called Daniel, Daniel entered into the den of lion. All the a lion saw Daniel, but they knew that this one is different. Hallelujah. Hey, they knew that this one is different. They knew this one is carrying the mark of don't touch my anointed one. This one is carrying the mark of touch not my anointed. I don't know who is watching me. Do you believe that? Do you think that God, there is God of Daniel and there is your God different? The God of Daniel is still the God you are serving right now. If he can put touch not my anointed or Daniel, you got to understand that there is still touch not my anointed or you right now. That your, your meat is not eatable. Your, your, your meat is not eatable. Now the devil cannot eat you. The devil cannot eat you. They might be eating other people. They might be destroying other people, but they can't destroy you. They might be killing other people. They can't kill you. They might be destroying people's destiny, but they can't destroy your destiny. They might be killing other people, stopping other people on the way. From today, you have known who you are. They can't stop you. So you got to tell the devil, whether in the dream or physical, hey, devil, take your hands off my family. Devil, take your hands off my children. Devil, take your hands off my marriage. Devil, take your hands off my income. Devil, take your hands off my business. Devil, take your hands off the God's plan for me. Devil, take your hands off my house. Take your hands off my way. As I am walking on my way, I carry edge of fire. No weapon. I am carrying the mark of no weapon. I gather. He said no weapon fashion. The word fashion was used. So no matter how corny the weapon might come, no matter how stupid the weapon might be, no matter how funny the weapon might look, no matter how strong the weapon might look, no matter how tough the weapon might look, no no matter how, how big the whip on my look, no matter how great the whip on my look, our God is bigger than the biggest. He is higher than the highest. He is greater than the greatest. Our God is stronger than the strongest. Hallelujah. He is the ocean divider. He is the ascent of the days. Hallelujah. He is the mountain melter. Agadua. Ali Deledo. He said, no weapon from against you shall prosper. Hallelujah. Look at what the Bible said here. 
Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. They will fall for your sake. And somebody, can you just say they will fall for my sake? They will fall. No matter where these people are gathering, now you have known who you are. They will fall for your sake. No matter where they gather for my family, they will fall for my sake. No matter where they gather for my children, they will fall for my sake. No matter. Hey, help me and share this video. There is something God is doing with this video right now. They will fall for my sake. I read the last place and I close this prayer. Hallelujah. Verse 17. Hallelujah. Yeah. Seven sin says, uh, No weapon that is formed against me. Allah do that. No weapon, no weapon. The other place says, Surely they will gather. The word surely means is a must. Verse 15, it says, Behold, they shall surely gather. Hallelujah. Verse 15, they shall surely gather. So that means, expect the gatherings of the enemies. Expect the enemy to afflict you expect somebody you love someone to fight you expect your brother your sister to fight you expect your best friend to fight you expect the enemy to gather expect a noise expect something around you hallelujah he said because he says surely the word surely means they must hallelujah the word surely means in certainty there is no negotiation they will come hallelujah he says surely they will gather but because the gathering is not of the Lord surely they we gather so you don't get afraid when they gather they are gathering Lerodo Shegupa in the name of Jesus hallelujah 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 surely they will gather surely 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 it's certainty they will gather hallelujah he says surely they will gather hallelujah sure sure for sure for sure i, I know they will gather it's hallelujah uh, surely they will gather surely somebody will challenge you surely somebody will tell you things you don't want to hear surely somebody will fight you surely somebody will stand on your way surely somebody will look as if they want to kill you surely they will come in your dream surely they will attack you they are attacking you does not mean that they will kill you hallelujah surely do you look at david and goliath do you think that goliath fold his hand surely goliath will come against david hallelujah but god said something here verse 4 he said fear not if you don't want to be ashamed fear not when you see anything don't fear anything don't allow any issue to shake you don't allow anything to make you to panic i've seen a lot of things i told a lot of people here about few persons who are watching me that they fear entered my eyes and i my eyes were shut for complete 13 minutes i couldn't see but i didn't panic nobody in the yard knows that that something happened except my wife my wife was panicking let me call my father spiritual father let me call this pastor i said don't call anybody let us be here god we settle it hallelujah and of course god settled the issue hallelujah god settled the case god settled the issue is surely they will gather so expect when they gather don't panic they should not gather and you start thinking ah these people have gathered oh these people are here they, no no you don't you don't think that way hallelujah you don't think that way surely they will gather so they have already gathered hallelujah so verse 17 he said no weapon he said no weapon that is formed against thee shall shall prosper so no matter how they form the weapon it shall not prosper it can work in you hallelujah and no weapon shall work in your life and every tongue that shall rise up against thee in judgment he said you shall condemn them read your bible he did not say they will condemn. He said, in judgment, you will condemn them. Read your Bible very well. Isaiah, we used to misquote this place. Hallelujah. He said, no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, you shall condemn. So, there will be a time God expects you to judge your enemies. There is a time God is expecting you to judge them. There is a time God is expecting you to tell them something. There is a time God is expecting you to use your mouth to condemn them. No, so, God expects that you allow the weapon to come. He is allowing the weapon to come because he knows you are God in by yourself. And God is expecting you to talk to those people. He said, every tongue that rises up against you, that might there might be accusation. There might be a tongue that said you will die. There might be a tongue that say you will not prosper. There might be a tongue that say you will not go far. There might be a tongue that say you will not succeed. 
He said, but every tongue that rises against thee, he said, in judgment. So that means you should judge them. In judgment, they shall, you shall condemn them. This is the heritage of the servant of the Lord and the righteousness of me, says the Lord. Heritage of the servant of God. Do you serve God? Do you work for God? Are you a child of God? So this portion can only work for people who are working for God, who are serving God. Children, God's children. If you are not God's child, every child of God is working for God. All of you that are parents, I think your children are working for you. Your children wash the dishes. Your children clean everywhere. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They work for you. So he said that this is the heritage. What we inherited from God. What we inherited from God is that there is no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Our inheritance is that there is no weapon. There is nothing the devil has thrown to us that will work in us. Hallelujah. These are the inheritance, what we inherited from God. So all we are saying now, are you a child of God? You need to give your life to Christ. The lifestyle you are living, you know, is not good. You are doing big girl. You travel from one state to state, sleeping with different men. It will not help you. You know, a lot of people who does not like to watch my video because I tell them about sin. Yo, know, I'm not like every social uh, tele evangelist who preach, receive it, take it. What are you receiving and what are you taking? I don't know where they get their power if it's working for them. Hello, the prayer of a sinner is abomination unto God. It is better I talk to 10 people who hear the word of God and they change their character and they go to heaven than I have. 500 viewers many years ago i used to have so many viewers until when i started hitting on righteousness a lot of them ran away hallelujah so are you a child of god do you have peace with god you're not at peace with god i need to pray with you wherever you are if you know you are a sinner you are committing sin adultery fornication you are a man right now you on top of a woman or your girlfriend is on your bed what are you gaining i used to live that life one day i asked myself i was not a righteous man i used to live that life one day i asked myself what am i even getting what am i getting from sleeping with these girls sleeping getting a woman it takes you have to walk to get a woman you have to wear good clothes hallelujah you have to smell good you have to have money it pays to sin it's too costly to sin. Hallelujah. Too costly to sin. Too costly to maintain sin. I have to wear good clothes. I have to put some cash in my pocket. I have to transport myself to look and look for where I can get a woman. Getting a woman, you have to transport you and her. You have to get her something to eat. If it's a fast food, now something I can manage of 1,500 to eat. Now I can't manage it. I should budget up to three, five, or 4,000 or 3,000. Now I have to pay transport fare. After that, it's my time, my wasted time, my wasted energy, wasted destiny. Hallelujah. Risk of disease and pregnancy. Risk of disease and pregnancy. Hallelujah. No matter how you try to protect condom or whatever, risk my time. Hallelujah. It has cost me my relationship with God. Why she's leaving you, give her transport fare. Now from that moment, she will start monitoring you. Hallelujah. So there is no gain. So what am I gaining? There is nothing. They say that is enjoyment. Okay, let's just say that is enjoyment. Five minutes enjoyment. Five minutes or ten minutes or twenty minutes enjoyment. Or thirty minutes enjoyment. Does it what? Losing my relationship with God. My destiny risk of disease or pregnancy covenants whenever you have sex with any man or woman you have entered blood covenant with the person anytime you have sex with somebody you have entered blood covenant with the person whether you use condom or not you have entered blood covenant with the person i will explain this how do i know about this 
Have you seen husband and wife who got married? Before they married, they were not looking alike. But immediately they marry, immediately they start sleeping. Any man or woman that starts sleeping with each other, always. Passionately, I didn't say sex. They start making love. Check them after three months. Check them after three months, after six months, after one year, they start having sex. Check them. Their face will start looking alike. Hallelujah. After I married to my wife, what they are calling her, the name they call her, my nat the native them they call her, Oiridia, meaning somebody who look like her husband. But we have started meeting. We now, that's why our baby, everybody find it difficult to know who she resembles. Hallelujah. So, when you have, that is what, when you have a sex with a woman, or you have sex with a man, if there is anything obtainable in the life of the man, it will transfer to the woman. If there is anything happening to the woman, it will transfer to the man. If the family of the woman, they are passing through premature death, the man will start experiencing it. If the family of the lady, they are passing through poverty, the man will start, that is why a lot of us, when you make some gay friend, you see that things will be moving for you. Why a lot? When you meet some gay friend, things will be too hard for you. Why a lot of you, you are doing well, but from that very day you marry, from after one year you marry, you will not be doing well again. Something is wrong with your wife or your husband background. And that is what is tormenting you. That is what is fighting you. Until you fight this. If you don't fight it, you will not go far. These are the things you look into. Hallelujah. You don't commit sin. He said this is the heritage of the servant of God. So if you are not in the kingdom of God, all these prayers we pray tonight is not yours. Sister, have a rethink. I want you to everybody that is watching this video, help me and share this video so that somebody will be delivered. There is somebody who have this last message. You don't know when you will die. Jesus is coming soon. You have not seen Jesus. And now you are misbehaving. Hello, I died yesterday there. Oh, Jesus have come. If you if you die right now, your own Jesus has come. And if your own Jesus come now, are you ready to follow him? Will you make heaven? Will Jesus welcome you and say, welcome to the paradise? Apart from you making money, apart from you living righteous life, making money. If your Jesus come now, are you think, do you think you are fit? Do you think you are qualified if your Jesus come now? Do you think you are okay to go with him? If your own Jesus come now, do you think you are qualified? Hallelujah. Any day you die, and nobody knows the day you will die. Death is the only thing you cannot tell. Oh, death, wait, I'm coming tomorrow. Oh, death, tomorrow. You don't program that. It comes, and death carries both the little, it carries both the big, it carries both the poor, it carries both the rich. It carries both the righteous and unrighteous. Wherever you are, give your life to Christ. You want to give your life to Christ wherever you are. Whatever you know you are doing that is not good. Fornication and adultery, stealing, lying, backbiting. Hallelujah. Whatever you are doing that is not good, worshiping idol, do, do using what a witch doctor give you, all those covenants, you did a blood covenant, emboss me after now, let me break that covenant with you. You did a blood covenant with somebody, you are sleeping with so many girls, separate from that power, separate from those things, if you are sleeping with so many girls. Hallelujah. You are watching pornography movie on your video. You are watching pornography movie, masturbation, lesbianism, homosexual. Stop those things. Emboss me if you want to stop it. I can pray with you and God will help you out. If you know you are ready to come out. You are into courtism. You are practicing courtism. There is something you are bowing down to accept Jesus. It will not help your life. Jesus is the only way, the truth, and the life. Everybody that is watching this video, help me and share this video. That is a major good thing you will do for me. If any time you come across this video, oh, share this video. Share this video. Share this video. Very, very important. There is somebody who has this last message. Hallelujah. Let's come to Jesus. Jesus is the only way, the truth, and the life. If you have made up your mind for Jesus to visit you, if you want to receive the miracle under my ministration, first thing you should do is faith. Second thing is righteousness. Hallelujah. Third thing is praising God. Follow the word of God and you worship God. Be thankful. Be thankful. And you see God performing the miracle. That is no big deal. That is how it works for me. Until I start living righteous, that is when God started helping me. I was swimming in sin, even as a pastor, even as a, a, an evangelist, until I recognized that the prayer of a sinner is abomination, arrow abomination, not even a sinner, abomination. 
have to return back to God. Are you ready to return back to God tonight? Are you ready to return back to God this morning? You smoke marijuana ayagada. You smoke and smoke. You go to club. You messed up your life. You abuse people anyhow. You abuse men of God anyhow. I don't know what you do, and that is holding you, and you are looking for a prophet to pray you out. Whereas the more you are praying for you, the more you are abusing men of God, the more you are abusing the house of God, the altar of God. Hallelujah. Remember what God did to Nebuchadnezzar. God is a God of mercy. Because we are in this position of grace, God can still do anything right now. You can die right now. If you die right now, where do you think you will get to? You want to tell God, I am sorry. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I come to you as a sinner. Have mercy on me. Wash away my sins. Cancel my name from the book of death. Write my name in the book of life. Come into my heart. Come into my life and be my Lord and my personal Savior. Give me grace to live a holy and righteous life from today henceforth that i will only do things that pleases you if you have prayed that prayer congratulations you are a child of god may god bless you so mightily hallelujah you are the reason why i came online tonight tomorrow wait for me again hallelujah may god bless you all in the name of jesus it is well with you for in jesus mighty name we pray amen god bless you real good my name still remains charles freeman okafo like I still say, this weekend is the when I'm going to offer it home. So if God has touched you to be a blessing to me, to support me, or you are in Lagos, Nigeria, I will have very, very be happy you come and join me. Lagos, Nigeria, call me and say, man of God, by what time on Saturday are we going? Which area are we going? So I can give you time. Let's go together. That thing is very helpful. May God bless you so much. Share this video. That is what you're going to do for me. Share this video and God will bless your life. In the name of Jesus. Remember what we read from the very beginning. Bust in singing. When you cut off this video, dance and sing and glorify God. When you finish, sleep. When you wake up, you tell me your revelation. Because God will surely visit you. You have a revelation, emboss me. Hallelujah. May God bless all of you for watching. Wherever you are watching from. Wherever you are prayed for. God will bless you. I am waiting for your result. I am waiting for your testimony. May God bless you all. I love you so much. You are the reason why no, I, no matter how I was very tired, very tired. I can't even discuss and play with my family. As I, I came back very late, I can't play with them. I've been in the lecture hall. There is an. Uh, uh, learning we are having a lecture hallelujah you know i'm into real estate business we are having a lecture we enter lecture hall from 9 a.m till 6 p.m and today again i'm going to class again from 9 a.m to another 6 p.m hallelujah so we have been in the lecture hall on business they are teaching us on business i am not a pastor who just want to be on the pulpit i want to also be a businessman hallelujah is a real estate business it pays hallelujah it pays had even i've known this thing for years I could have been very wealthy right now. I just knew about it some months back. Hallelujah. Three months back. And since that three months, what I've gotten about business, ideas, I've gotten about business, creativity is very wow. Hallelujah. So you can imagine if God bless me now as a pastor, I will establish a lot of things and I will help a lot of people. All this orphanage home I'm going, I want to have an NGO tomorrow so I can be able to help a lot of people. I hold a lot of people, not 20,000, not 30, not 40. At least we can bring one million and we settle some people's destiny build uh, establish some people's business that's my joy hallelujah to put smile on people's faces that is all i cry every day lord help me to put so how do i do that i don't wait until i get one million i start with the little you have given me i share the little you have given me to give to people hallelujah so that god will see my heart that if i can get one million i can give if you cannot give when you have one thousand you can give when you have one million hallelujah may god bless you so much you want to be in real estate business join me call me or emboss me i will tell you the procedure it's very simple and it's very helpful check when somebody buy a land from you 10 million you know how much you are making don't worry i will educate you more tomorrow maybe before our lecture hallelujah may god bless you so much my name still remains charles freeman okafo i am broadcasting live from lagos nigeria this is night of possibility and this is still three nights remaining four nights to go somebody's miracle will happen the test at the cost of this program 
you will have a total healing and total deliverance receive peace as you sleep you sleep in peace and you wake up in peace receive peace you wake up in the morning any man who have said over their dead body will they leave you to go in the morning you wake up they will not wake up again in the name of jesus you are covered with the blood of jesus for in jesus mighty name we pray emboss me my number is written down there i have typed my number i think i have to write back again you go to go to youtube refer people to youtube when you refer people to youtube they should go and watch my video they should just search of pastor charles freeman or for on youtube hallelujah they will see my youtube just like and subscribe make sure you like and you subscribe may god bless you so much for doing this i love you so much your testimony keep me moving hallelujah jesus is working charles okafor is testifying jesus is working charles okafor is testifying jesus is working all of us are testifying may god bless you until we meet tomorrow hallelujah remember it's our night of possibility anything is possible remember bless emboss me if you want so if i want us to discuss anything